All right, boys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caleb. Uh, today, we are going to be doing a quick unboxing of what I think is a shipment that I got from Bronson MFG out of China. Um, they seem to be a tad controversial, but I've seen good things and good reviews from people who've actually owned their stuff. So I decided to uh, buy some of their pieces to try them out, and I will let you guys know what I think about them and kind of give you an overview and tell you specifically why I was interested in this. But first, let's check out what we got here, and I will talk as we open this all up. All right, we'll do a little blind pull here. We have a tube t-shirt. This is one of their normal t-shirts. I grabbed this one in gray. Currently, I own three or four white t-shirts, and that's it as far as like Amakaji style, heritage style t-shirts. Um, I wanted all of the tube gusset ones that I'll be showing you later on in this bag, but they didn't have them in gray, so I just got one of their regular t-shirts in gray. Then we have a, let's see here. This is one of their vintage Henley shirts. These are supposed to be sized uh, smaller, so this one is in an XL. All the rest of the shirts I got were in a large. I'm hoping for a fitted fit, similar to like a Mr. Freedom medium almost. Here you can see it says here V-neck sportswear. You can see this is a white gusset shirt. And a green gusset shirt as well. Um, these are kind of similar with the gussets you see on a lot of the vintage, um, a lot of the vintage sweatshirts that you'll be seeing, or a lot of heritage style sweatshirts that you'll see. And the last piece, which is what I'm the most excited for, is a reproduction of a Lee blanket lined Storm Rider jacket. Here this is. All right, looks a little small. I'm a little nervous. This is in a 42. Hopefully this will be my size. This is the most important thing to nail the fit on for me personally. Um, I was really, really excited when I saw that they had this in stock. I bought based on their sizing chart. I did not contact them. Probably should have. This is meant to fit very, very cropped. So I guess we'll see how this fits. One second. Okay, let's see how this fits. Main issue will be the shoulders. Let's see what we're working with here. Yeah, this might be a tad small. I don't know. Let's see. Um, okay. So if my shirt is tucked in, we are... No, the shoulders actually fit good. It's a little tight in the arms. This definitely is not a jacket to be layering up with. But man, yeah, it fits pretty short on my belt. Denim is very, very dark. As you can see, has a corduroy collar, has the zigzag, it has the rounded um, Lee pockets. It does not have any hand warmer pockets. You can see the zigzags it has here, which is a part of the Lee, has this soft brushed flannel lining. It is also a flannel lined on the inside of the sleeves. I'll show you that here. Yeah, so this is definitely what I was the most excited for. Um, currently, I only have the Mr. Freedom blue jacket and the Capital First jacket. And so I wanted something kind of in between that I could wear, uh, for example, like when the wind was blowing a little bit harder. Yeah, I'll definitely be able to wear this with long sleeve button up shirts, but this is not necessarily going to be something that you could wear with a sweater. And that's okay because it kind of has one built in with this lining. Um, I owned the Mr. Freedom Rough Rider jacket that was pretty popular. So this is in a 42. I am six foot two, about 190 pounds. I usually prefer somewhere between like a 19 to a 19 and a half inch shoulder. This was around that. Um, I like to have a little bit of overhang on my shoulders, like I've said in, in previous videos. Pardon my regular t-shirt here, but you can see with I think a 13 rise, 13 inch rise pant that this is, I believe a 25 inch back and it's dropping right below my belt, which is pretty much right where I'd want it to be. This looks pretty nice. It says N and S on the buttons, new stock inventory tag, non-stock MFG co, I guess is one of their like fake interior brands says, since there are so many classic designs existed in men's fashion industry, we choose these old styles and reconstruct them for individual looking. 
If you happen to be a fan of retro style, that would be our fortune. Our products were created using the finest quality materials to ensure the highest standard. We analyzed the fabric actually used and studied the details, blah, 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 blah. All right, so there you go. That's this jacket that I was the most excited for. And like I said, it's a little poofy in the arms, but, and a little tight in the arms. It's based off of the Lee Storm Rider, and I was really excited for this one. The Lee Storm Rider is my favorite out of the classic big three jackets, especially this blanket lined one. And I was really wanting it in a raw denim and in as short of a length as they offered. And you can see this is pretty much what I've gotten here, which is pretty awesome. Um, man, I could definitely see myself layering this with like a t-shirt or a button up underneath an even heavier jacket if I ever had the excuse to wear that. Unfortunately, here in uh, California, we don't get a ton of reasons to wear stuff like that. But in my imagination, I could see myself wearing that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, here's that jacket. Man, that's awesome. With this cool inside lining. I'm curious what, so my made in China, obviously. Um, as far as the fabric, size 42, I'm just gonna assume that it's all cotton on the inside. It's not very itchy, it's brushed. Could be a polyester. Um, I will look that up and put that over the video really quick for you, or I will put it in the description. Um, and then I'll quickly show you how some of these shirts fit. All right, so first shirt here we'll try on is the green gusset t-shirt. Based on the measurements online, uh, Bronson pretty much says that you should size up by one on everything. So when I buy t-shirts for Mr. Freedom, I always buy a medium, but for everything on Bronson, I bought a large or a extra large looking for a fitted kind of vintage style fit. Um, and a lot of these t-shirts tend to stretch a little bit anyways. Here's what this looks like. Fits pretty good. Hugs my arms decently well. Leaves me a little bit of room. I'd say it's a decently thick, I think it's something like 10 ounces uh, for the cotton. You can see here it's going pretty much right on my shoulders, which is pretty good. Um, if I got significantly larger in my shoulders, it wouldn't have a ton of room for, here, for that, but that's okay. Um, overall, I'd definitely say I like the fit of this. Now let's try out the white t-shirt. So this white t-shirt has pretty much the same fit. See here in this white fabric. Based on my understanding, this looks like it's a little bit less see-through than a lot of the Mr. Freedom shirts I have are. The fabric is considerably thicker, although it's still kind of made out of this like ring spun, no side seam style where you can really like, you can see the light through them and everything. It still feels pretty breathable, but it's definitely thicker tuck this one in real quick and see what this looks like. I don't know, I just thought I already had some of the Mr. Freedom shirts, so I like these little gusset ones and they were also a tad bit thicker. I just thought they'd be a little bit more special, um, a little bit cooler to have. Here's a moment of truth. We're gonna try on this Henley. They advertise sizing up even one beyond their regular sizing. So this one is an extra large. All right, so I will attest that they are definitely telling the truth when they say to size up in this shirt this one feels like it fits a little weird to be honest obviously it has these like tight arms which are traditional with these henleys it has a little bit longer of a fit it looks like it's definitely designed to be worn tucked in um, personally i don't feel like i have the biggest chest it's at the point where i almost never even check my chest measurements when i'm buying something i almost only look at the shoulder measurements because that's usually going to be what really causes issues for me and i kind of feel like the chest is a little tight on this might be kind of the whole Asian fit issue you see from some Japanese and Asian brands. Um, but it doesn't feel like it's going to be a huge issue. I think as it stretches out and gets worn in, it'll probably relax a little bit. This one is almost shinier looking. Hopefully that sheen will wash off um, and wear out. But this one is definitely a lot thicker and a lot more of like a traditional weave. Kind of almost feels like it's a little plasticky. Like there's some type of film or something like it, there's something that it's sprayed on. Um, it's definitely not what I'm used to with the really loose like uh, ring spun jersey style that you get out of like the Mr. Freedom shirts or even these other shirts that I just tried on. Um, but here's what the vintage Henley looks like. I don't think this is the 1890s Henley. I think this is just called the vintage Henley. Lastly, we have the gray shirt here. You'll see these all have pretty cool and uh, consistent branding on them. Done pretty well on the bags, to be honest. 
All right, this one fits pretty well too, to be honest. Kind of hugs the chest, hugs the body decently well. It's actually a kind of nice medium heathered gray. You can kind of see a lot of like light tones and dark tones within the gray. Let me get up close and see if you can see that. Um, but there's a lot of variation within the gray when you look at it up close, which is pretty nice. It makes it look a lot nicer than just a straight gray shirt where there's no color variation. So you'll see this one in contrast to the other t-shirts than the other first two gusset t-shirts you'll see is made out of a less slubby and a tighter knit. I think this one is for sure 10 ounces if I remember correctly. Um, you see they have a decently tight but not annoying neck. They have a tight neck but it's kind of thin. Um, one thing that a lot of people like that I personally hate is kind of like that Costco Kirkland Signature t-shirt neck where it's really, really thick and tight and giant. I personally hate that, but since this is a tighter neck, but it's a little bit smaller, um, I'm all right with this. And I like this. Yeah, these both kind of hug my arms. All these shirts do, which I like. I'm used to the uh, Mr. Freedom shirt arm, which is like a one quarter arm where it kind of shoots off like this at an angle up here. And, uh, you know, you don't really want to go for that style every single day. Now that I'm wearing this regular t-shirt, I actually would definitely consider wanting to buy some more of this t-shirt in like white and green or something because this is really, really, really comfortable. Um, and I actually kind of like having this consistent fabric instead of the slubby and kind of light see-through fabric that you get necessarily out of some of those slubbier shirt fabrics. I will quickly show you guys what the whole one of the t-shirts with the jacket looks like. Put it on the inside, fix the collar. Man, I definitely would say that I like this. Um, I think you can kind of tell, or at least I can tell, that this is not necessarily as nicely made as a lot of companies that you're going to be buying from like Standard & Strange or Mr. Freedom. Like it's not a Freeno jacket. This isn't a Mr. Freedom jacket. This isn't like a real McCoy's jacket. But I think this whole purchase was around $200. And so for that price point... You honestly can't, this is not that bad. Um, pretty reasonable. Definitely say I like the fit of most of this. Um, definitely feel like I got my money's worth. And you know, you're not paying for as high of a quality. You know, there's like some bunching up here and that kind of stuff. But I don't know, I really can't hate to be honest, especially when your option is to pretty much, especially for jackets like this, just to buy vintage. Um, so yeah, there you go. Here's what this all looks like. Um, Here's my little haul, quick review, um, pretty chaotic, but uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day. I'll see you next time.